If you're following along with the lessons, then you should be in Chapter 6, Facade 03.max. If you don't have the file open, go ahead and open the file from the Chapter 6 Datasets directory. You may or may not have the Render Setup dialog already open. If you don't, go to the main toolbar and click on the Render Setup. This will open the Render Setup dialog. Let's make sure we have the resolution set. We want to have a custom output size. And we want to select 320 by 240. We're going to use this for a web-based animation. Now we may already have something in the Render Output File Save Area, but we want to change that. Go ahead and click on the Files option. Let's rename this to Facade underscore Entry underscore PNG. The reason I added the last underscore is because when the file is saved out as an image sequence, 3ds Max attaches the digits for the sequence to the very end of the file name. This just makes it easier when you're performing file management, and it's not really something that you have to do when you're rendering sequences. Once we've entered the name, click the Save button. Again, we're going to be saving to the default folder called Render Output. This is now going to render all 101 frames as individual PNG files at 320 by 240 resolution. Go ahead and click the Render button. You'll see the Render Frame window pop up and begin to process each frame individually. Then save that out as a single file with an incremental file name. The process can be tracked here in the Render dialog. We can see we have Render Progress of the overall animation and the rendering progress of the current frame. If we look at the common parameters, we can find out what frame number we are currently rendering out of the total number of frames to be rendered. We also see on the right hand side the times for the animation. Starting out with the last frame render time, it also provides the elapsed time since we click the render button and gives an estimated time remaining. The time remaining is an estimate based on the currently rendered frames and may or may not be completely accurate depending on how long it takes subsequent frames to render. Let's say you're rendering part of a scene that doesn't have a lot of detail in it. Then the camera moves into a very heavy detailed part of the scene. Your rendering times will increase later on in the animation, and it will also increase the remaining time as well. Right now, 3ds Max is rendering each frame, then saving it down to the hard drive. If you want to let that process go, go ahead. The amount of time it will take to render will vary on your particular computer system. I'm going to cancel out of this render. I've already rendered these frames and made them available in the Render Output Chapter 6 subdirectory of the Understanding 3D Project folder. Once it completes the rendering of the final image, we can close the Render Frame window and we've completed rendering to a series of individual frames that will make up an animated sequence.